I will explain going through something else. What I previously taught as far as chain rule is I taught you something like this. I said, if you see a function inside of a function, you have to identify the two functions. Basically, what we see here is g of x plugged into f of x. Right? We see g of x plugged into f of x. This is basically f of g of x. You took g of x and you plugged it in for x here. That's what that would look like. So if you remember taking the derivative of this, what we did was to take the derivative of the chain rule, what we had is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So what you need to do is find the derivative of f prime, and you need to find the derivative of g prime. So derivative of f prime, or f prime, is 5x to the fourth, and, and g prime is 1 over x. So by using this formula, what we have is 5 times ln of x raised to the fourth times 1 over x. Correct? So all I'm doing is I'm just changing our notation a little bit. And I'm just saying, instead of using f of x and g of x, what I decided to use is u as my inside function. So I'm going to call u ln of x u. And then I can take the derivative of u, but again, implicitly, taking the derivative of u would look like this, du dx equals 1 over x. Then again, following the same kind of formula, we need to take the derivative of our outside function, which is x to the fifth. So you could even call it uh, um, x to the fifth. So therefore, it would be fi 5 times u to the fourth times du dx. So if you just replace this, I'm sorry, if you replace this with like u to the fifth power, I'm sorry, let's look at it this way. So if you were to look at d over dx of u to the fifth power, we talked about implicitly deriving this. That would be, oh, OK, that's d over dx then is equal to 5 u to the fourth du dx. Right? Well, we know what u is, that's ln of x, and we know what du dx is, which is 1 over x. So d over dx is 5 times ln of x raised to the fourth times 1 over x, which is exactly what we have here. It's just another way, it's just another way of looking at it. It's basically instead of doing f of x and g of x, which you guys can see is kind of like a lot of a lot of like writing, if you can just think of this, this as that. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm just replacing this ln of x, the inside of the function, with u. Then I can easily take the derivative and then just find the implicitly take the derivative here, and then I have my answer. Okay. The reason why I didn't originally teach is because we didn't talk about implicit differentiation when we first learned the chain rule. We just talked about 